What is going on everybody and welcome back today to another brand new play review on FIFA 17 and today we've got another very, very highly requested one because today we are looking at the Manchester City huge talent right now, Kalicha Ikiyanacho, who got himself a 74 rated silver card this year. Many people, including myself, feel he deserves a goal, but 74 silver is still not too shabby at all. We're going to be taking a look at that today, but before we get into it, if you do enjoy the video lads, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you have missed any of the other player reviews over the last few days, I'll leave a little uh, link to them in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. But without any further ado, let's get stuck into this. So Ikiyanacho got a 74 rated card like I just mentioned, he stands at 6 foot 1 according to Foothead, but when you go into the in-game, he's actually six foot two. His work rates are high medium, and he comes with three-star skill moves and a three-star weak foot. Looking at his base card, at in-game stats, like I just mentioned, he's a 74-rated silver. Uh, he's got age seven pace, which considering he's six foot two is outstanding in my opinion. He comes with 74 dribbling, 73 shooting, 61 passing, 67 physical, and 22 defending, rounding up the base card stats, and his key stats is top five in-game. I have made a small mistake in here. You'll see it's 89 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, 79 agility, 77 finishing, and 75 positioning. So I've put agility twice there, but the uh, the 77 one is in fact his finishing. Uh, when we get into the team that we used him in, you can actually see it's a very, very nice BPL one. There's a few lone players chucked in there. A few players I've already reviewed as well, the likes of Ahmed Musa, but still a very solid team. And um, his goal return wasn't fantastic. He got four goals and one assist in five games, but I must stress that these were in very, very competitive matches in the uh, Division 9 it was at the time. There's a lot of good players floating around in Division 8 and 9. And like I say, very competitive games, but still four games, uh, four goals, sorry, in the four games. Not amazing, but he still felt very, very solid. We're going to start to get into some of the clips of him in action now. And one thing I'm going to say straight off the bat is he has a fantastic presence. I mean, because of the fact that he's six foot two and he's got very decent pace, he can really hold off defenders very, very nicely. And his link up play, bringing others into the game, is absolutely superb. Another thing that he's got really, really good. Uh, stats on is his positioning. I mean, not amazing stats, but it's one of his strongest stats, and that is something that he does well in real life, and that transcends onto the game as well. Often finding himself in the right place at the right time just to tap in. And uh, the third really, really big positive for me was heading. Obviously, we know he's six foot two. He hasn't got the greatest heading stat in game, but particularly from goal kicks, he won absolutely everything. The negative starts coming now, where I really feel like you can tell he's a silver almost. His ball control and first touch weren't fantastic. And his stamina is pretty goddamn abysmal. I think it's in the mid 60s. And when you get towards the end of the game, stamina seems to be a really big deal this year. You can really tell that he starts to drop off sort of from the 75th minute onwards. You're not really going to score many late goals to them, I found, in my, in my five games. Um, which might sound like a strange thing to say, but like I say, stamina really, really did let him down. But um, he's still overall a very, very decent striker, in my opinion. I would say, out of all the strikers we've reviewed, so Ian Acho. Batshuayi and Musa. He's definitely the worst step to three. You can tell that he's a silver, but still, he is a decent, decent striker. When you've got someone with a good pace and the height, he's never going to be too bad. But overall, we're going to be giving him a 7.4 out of 10. Very similar to what I said about Batshuayi, above average, but not fantastic. I'm sure there's going to be better silver strikers out there. Ian Acho is definitely good, but he is not amazing. But um, that's going to end up this play review anyway, lads. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Like I said, I will speak to you in another upload later on today. Slightly uh, related to Ian Acho, you could say. So I will speak to you all in that one, lads. Have a great rest of your day. Need you out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player views are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.